I, I think there's no choice but to sustain, but to engage in sustainability. I think the days in which uh, CEOs and businesses drove themselves just for profit are long gone. Not only is it the right thing to do, but actually customers, and particularly young customers, are demanding that we, uh, that we get involved in sustainability. I think in our case, you know, um, living and operating in Kenya, there are so many challenges that it is impossible for a business to continue to drive the profit agenda in isolation of the challenges that uh, the society faces generally. I think it's absolute nonsense. Uh, you know, we are probably one of the most successful companies in, uh, in East Africa, not just in Kenya. Uh, and it's clear that we are, you know, we're, we're doing the right thing. And I think uh, without driving that sustainability agenda, uh, we would not have been in the position that we, uh, that we currently are. Because customers are actually looking for a holistic approach to how we conduct business. I think the first thing the CEOs need to do is they need to build a strong narrative. Uh, because if they don't do that, then they don't get their shareholders engaged in this, they don't get their board engaged in this, they don't get their staff engaged in this. And if you can do that, then you don't have to worry so much about the short-term quarterly, uh, quarterly results. No, I think there's no, there's no turning back. You know, some of the challenges we face, um, poverty, health, climate change, these things are not going away. So we can't go back to the way we, 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 we were. You know, in um, the year 2050, when you've got nine billion people to cope with, there is no way we can go back to the way we operated back in the 20th century.